For those who walk into Portsmouth International Port's ferry terminal these days, it's certainly recommendable to have a look up where students from Highbury College are currently exhibiting their photographs of the city. The official launch of the exhibition took place on Wednesday. Being traditionally known as a historic maritime city, I think it's showing more and more lately that it's got a, a very more modern face. Um, this terminal represents part of that modern face. Um, the photographs that you see on display here this morning go to show both sides of a, a changing city. Some of the skill, in, certainly in the first picture that my wife, who studied photography, actually looked at, enthralled her as to how the, the light was coming out the bandstand. So uh, I think there are a few more bits and pieces you want to have a look at. Michael Meachin is out every night to take pictures of sunsets. He studied engineering at Highbury College, but to boost his artistic skills, he also attended the photography course there. And now he's proud that his snapshots are part of an exhibition. I've just come off the carrier. I just spent 10 days on the um, aircraft carrier. So this is something to do outside work, take my mind off work, a bit of relaxation, meet other people. Um, yeah, it's just good to get out. It is really good to see him in print. You only see him on the computer screen, you put a few on Instagram and a few on Facebook. And, but it's really good to see other people get to see him. John Horton was especially interested in the digital side of the five-week-long course. His picture is the first to be seen when entering the building. It's a uh, HMS Warrior. I took it down um, by the dockyard one sunny day. Yeah, quite proud of it because it was shooting into the light, so it was um, a bit difficult but not to get it blown out. I still managed to keep the blues and the darkness of the hull of the hull of the ship such a wide uh, contrast that a lot of cameras can't cope with it, but somehow I managed to also have a little bit of uh, work on the editing. So, yeah, I was quite pleased. For him, it's clear that Portsmouth is a highly photogenic city. We've got the sea, you've got the beach, and then you come in, you've got the harbour, you've got the home of the Royal Navy, you've then got the commercial boats as well. And then if you move further up through Portsmouth, if you get to Hillsy, you've got the old ramp, what we call the old ramparts, they call it Foxy's Trail now, I believe. But in my generation, it was the ramparts where the old gun emplacements were for all. And there's lovely trees, there's lakes through there, you've got the birds, the wildlife. And of course, you carry on up and you've got ports downhill. I mean, mixed burger van is always a great place. <laughs> it's very popular. You get a lot of uh, motorcyclists queuing out there and a lot of vintage cars actually pull in there. So, yeah, it's just a great place to be. Poppy's always great, isn't it? Come off it. It's the best place in the country, isn't it? Eh? The photography course at the college is open to people from all walks of life, and staff there are impressed by the works that have come out of it so far. One of our educational trainers, Richard Blair, came up with the idea of pushing his students and incorporating competitions into what he was already offering with our community provision. So the students were currently on a photography course and he thought it would be exciting to get a bit more passion and to show off Portsmouth and to be extra proud of what they already do. The photograph by Jamie Burdett and it's of um, a building just on the corner with two arms like that, that's particularly stunning. The light work on it is uh, really interesting and how he's taken something that people just walk by every day at Portsmouth and won't actually take a second glance at uh, and has made it into quite a, a bespoke picture really. Nicole Ries, VATS TV.